Alright guys, today I'm bringing you a legendary item guide in Borderlands 3 and in this video we'll be looking at the Atlas rocket launcher known as the Freeman. The red text on the weapon reads, the right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. And what's special about this weapon is rockets fired will always track to where the middle of your reticle is or the middle of your crosshairs. And to translate that, that basically means the rocket will go wherever you're looking. To get this weapon we'll be farming the story boss known as the Warden who shows up at the end of the Hammerlocked story mission. Head to the anvil on Eden 6 and then hit the spawn point located here on the map. The arena where you fight Warden is literally right next to the spawn point so all you have to do is drop down the hole that's in the floor just to the left of the spawn point and you can fight Warden. I was using this gun in Mayhem 3 and the damage is still really good considering it is Mayhem 3. The fact that this rocket launcher can also hit critical hits means most of the smaller enemies die in one rocket as long as you can hit that critical hit. The only downside to this though is when I use a rocket launcher I sort of expect crowd control and when I'm having to use a rocket launcher as if it's say a sniper where I have to hit the critical hits then it's, it's a bit of a weird experience. However, with some of the bigger enemies, like badass psychos, for example, well, I was missing most of my hits, but it was taking me about 10 rockets to kill that one badass psycho. And this was a mixture of critical hits and non-critical hits. Considering that's just under a fourth of what the rocket launcher ammo cap actually is, you're using a lot of ammo on one enemy. This also becomes annoying when the badass you're fighting is nowhere near a vending machine, so you can't refill your ammo. Just fighting the enemies at the beginning of the Carnivora area, I had to rebuy rocket launcher ammo about three times times before I had completely killed all the enemies in the area. The gimmick of this gun, while it is cool, it is also an extremely, like I said before, weird experience. Despite the rocket's flight path being dependent on where you're looking, the rocket will still travel in a straight line, like it will still move away from you. To me, this is a concept I was having a really tough time grasping, especially when I was using this gun up close. Like, I would shoot rockets and then try and compose my aim, and then aim at the enemy, and then I'd realise that the rocket's already behind the enemy, so it was pretty much doing nothing. Despite this though, the way the rocket actually tracks where you're aiming it's extremely responsive you could be aiming one way and then completely do a 180 and the rocket would be traveling in the other direction in the matter of a second but using this gun as a way of trying to kill crowds of enemies opposed to say a big enemy it can be extremely difficult to use it's also cool to note that you can actually shoot as many rockets as you want and they'll all still track at the same direction obviously because the rocket will continue to direct away from you the rockets won't actually collide with each other if there are multiple on the same path that's it for the video guys Guys, I hope you found this useful. Make sure to subscribe for future legendary item guides on my channel. And yeah, see you in the next video.